where in the world is my child? Have we lost our kid? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what in the world has happened to my child? Just disappeared. I should be panicking right now. I'm sure it's like some stupid bug because I was moving the house around or something like that. But come on. Oh my gosh. So, so funny. Okay. Um, let's see if we can perhaps rearrange this just a little bit. Don't really like it against the wall. There we go. Two cribs. Hopefully, hopefully that produces a another spawn of Unky and Heidi. Let's get this day started. I don't understand why I'm losing relationship with them. You see that? Your child needs a diaper change. Hello, my friends. My name is Unky, and welcome back to another episode of my time at Sandrock. Is it because, look at this, interact. I don't have the diaper change. <laughs> Heidi. I don't have the diaper change option. you want for breakfast? It's never okay to start the day with an empty belly. Um, That's a great question. She also has a quest. Okay, the baby is all over the place. Let's see. Go for a cookout. Yeah. Nothing better to do today other than get out of town, soak in the sun, and throw some veggies on the grill. Right? Let's do it. Ready already? You ready already? I'm ready already. Let's see. Um, interact. Hello, child. I. Let's see. Why don't we give you? <laughs> Oh, is there anything that we could give them that they wouldn't like? I'm sort of curious about this. What about a frying pan? They love it. <laughs> they don't know any better. <laughs> Let's go on a cook up. Follow me. We don't have anything else to do today. Well, that might not be true. We might have all sorts of fun stuff to do today, but I definitely feel like, all oh, look, it's Trudy. The are complete. Everyone's in the outback. Let's head there together and we can start planting. I'm not ready yet. I'm having a morning with my family. Okay. I'll head there first then. Take your time and come when you're ready. We'll be there soon enough. I love that we get to just watch her walk into invisibility. Operation Greenland. So cool. Okay. Let's gather all of that stuff. Lots of do. Um, okay. We have all this letter. You know what? I don't care about any of this. Let's go. Cookout's usually under this big, beautiful tree, right? Is this one of the poplar trees that's actually, um, like, leafing out because it's doing well? I think it is. Your child is going back home. Our child is not allowed to be at the cookout. Sorry. Uh, it's a cute scene with the, pic the um, train coming through. Look at this spread. So we lost five points with uh, Heidi this morning. We just gained back two, three. Looking over the beauty of Sandrock, especially with the new rainbow. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, and then a beautiful smooch. <laughs> Am I ridiculous for making a little house out of the green peppers? I mean, it was you who gave me the idea. Huh. <sighs> We really need to learn to leave work at the office, you know? Nah, I like it. It's cute. Okay, look at that. And then Heidi plus three. Okay, great. So this, um, like, losing points with her periodically, it doesn't really seem to be affecting anything. Now, we are familiar. Man, how do I get this to the third spot? I've been giving this kid, like... <laughs> junk all day <laughs> it doesn't help at all lumpy where you at there you are okay we have this one let's see 
where I bet you everyone is out here, right? And there's a bunch of fun stuff going on. We do have this one to turn into to Rocky. So maybe we should go do that and then we'll head out there. I'm super excited to see Operation Greenland kick off. I can't wait. I can't wait. I really wonder how green Sandrock is going to become after all of this. Hopefully it's just like a verdant. You know, I don't want it to lose all of its desert feel, but more green would be good. Here you are, bud. <laughs> Thanks. Holy crap. Look at that. Rocky became a best friend. That's amazing. Okay, let's go. I think that's it. It's just this today, huh? Cool. Such a slow turn. <laughs> so funny. Could we make um, the camel super fast if we leveled them up somehow? Is that like a possibility? Thank you for coming, everyone. Before we get started, Professor Law would like to say a few words. It has been a pleasure working on him with all of you. I usually try and separate my work and my hobbies, but I admit my trip here has fulfilled both of those. It has truly been a very fulfilling adventure. That's wonderful. And we truly appreciate you coming out here to help us. Yes. In such a short time, we went from almost giving up to being able to partially tame the desert. It's pretty huge, dude. His contribution, I gave him a hard time when we were up talking about the, the desert widow, Martel's widow, whatever, the big tree. But he has been absolutely indispensable in solving these problems. So we have to love Professor Loa for that. So... I say, let's get started. Let's do I it. I that, that I'm not Sandrock's resident mobile suit pilot. Will you do the honors? Uh, 100%. Okay, where is it? Okay, so how does this work? Whoa, holy crap. Whoa, okay, so. How much of this am I supposed to grow? Well, there's a lot of this bio crust. What's my, um, what's my quota? What am I trying to get to? we go we'll plant those there we can always throw down more bio crust too why don't we hold off and just plant what we have here <laughs> this thing is kind of goofy to drive i can see how chi who you know chi is a very intellectual person he spends a lot of time reading he spends a lot of time probably doing math um maybe you know just the the tactile like hands-on stuff is a little more difficult for him We'll give him that. I, I maybe driving a Gundam is Gungum, excuse me, is just a little more difficult for a guy like Chi because he's not as used to using his hands. I probably shouldn't run over my brand new ones. Let's see. Is this really gonna tame the desert? Hey. There are a bunch of saxels over there. Look at that. Okay, we don't actually have that many left. So let's fill this up and then see where we're at. All right, that's all of them. 
Looks like everything is functioning as expected. Oh, I'm thrilled. Now we just have to wait a while to see how big the forest will grow. You know, I don't think that that was anything that we couldn't have done by hand. It would have taken longer. It was fun to use the, the gun gun, but it wasn't like that was outside of our scope. It wasn't that much bigger than the other um, forest that we planted. Now, if we were trying to reforest the whole desert, maybe that's a different thing. So we'll consider both of them test runs. Yeah, <laughs> you're like a professional. I was impressed. I'm 100% a professional. I fought off an army. I'm very impressed with the expertise that Sandrock houses. I think Project Greenland is in capable hands. Me too. Nia and I will be departing tomorrow. I'm glad we're leaving on a positive note. That is bittersweet. I love having these two in town. I'll send you my copy soon, Professor. Appreciated. You worked on a project together? No, I found that Professor Law had a volume he'd missed. I have a spare. It would be a shame for him to miss the entire war in the locket arc. <laughs> She's like, what? What should I say? It's been a pleasure having you here. Thank you. I won't be gone forever. I'll see you again. I am sure well, you'll be back. It certainly has been wonderful having you both here. Make sure you keep me updated on the progress of the forest. There is much I believe we can learn from it. I look forward to returning in a few years to see a mighty green forest right here in the outback. Me too. Okay, look at that. Ooh, what are those shoes? Hold on. What in the heck are those? Future Camel Rider boots. Whoa, those are serious. These are like King Koopa shoes. Um, I can't wait to see what that entire outfit's going to end up looking like. How? What level are those? Let's hold on. One more. One more glance at these. Level fifty-five. Holy crap! I am freaking nine levels behind being able to wear this as armor. Dang. Okay, Mia. Hello. <gasps> I heard Nia handled herself really well in the ruins with you and Logan. Pretty cool. We've got a great team on our hands. Hmm. We could really use a bronze plate. Uh, Catch you that, later. that wouldn't be too hard to do, I feel like. Zeke. Hello. Hmm. Nia told me about the environment changing tech you guys found in those ruins. Pretty interesting stuff. We'll have to check that out at some point. See ya. Look at this. Look at this. Are we just leaving this thing out here? So, because I expanded that one, this one is shorter. I wonder, is this just going to live out here now? Can I come out here and plant more of these just for fun? You know what this thing reminds me of? It reminds me of Robo from Chrono Trigger. Yeah, look, there's some Black Saxel over there. And then look at this over here. Wait, what? There's a cave over here? Ooh, we have to explore that. Yeah, and then there's some black saxel over here. So not all of it was destroyed. Whoa. <laughs> I threw myself out of there. Desert cave? Cool. Wait, this was the cave that um, Logan was in that we found the sword, huh? Okay, we don't have to explore this. We've been here. It's been so long I forgot about it. Wait, can I just take this home? Do I get to keep this now? Um, I don't think I'm intended to take this thing home, sadly. Oh, well, we'll leave it here. <laughs> that dismount is hilarious. Okay, thanks for waiting, my um, wonderful lumpy camel. Let's head back home. I guess that was probably the only big thing we had to do today. Is there any other? No big social things. It feels like we're starting to wrap it up, huh? What is left? What is left to do? I feel like Katori is scheming something. That would be the one thing that I feel like might be left. Obviously, we have to build this bridge over here um, whenever we get the plans for that. 
Um, and I feel like we could probably go back there and plant more Saxel, although I don't know it would really benefit us any to do. So it's late in the day. Why don't we maybe just get some commissions done? You head home, beautiful beastie. We haven't even checked our mail yet. Let's look. It's come to my attention that since the water level of the oasis had gotten so high, we might need a bridge to keep our town pleasantly walkable. Minister Burgess said you really wanted to build it for us, so I got a diagram from Heidi. Thank you again for your unwavering support of Sandrock. Of course, from the Civil Corps. The Civil Corps has been hard at work clearing out the under Lab 7, and we've realized this area of the Dead Sea is particularly dangerous. I'd stay away if I were you, but if you really want to practice your skills, you can head down to the Dead Sea ruins and help us clear it out. Cool! Letter from Higgins. I am the builder from Portia who received your equipment. I didn't ask for it. It was forced upon me by the mayor who was concerned that my workshop was falling behind. Puh! Despite this eggy feeling on my face, I must say your craftsmanship is top notch. So as it turns out, I will be making use of this fine machines you've sent me. Yes, I can tell from your work that you take our craft very seriously. It's hard to find builders like you. The riffraff I have to put up with here, criminy. The other builder here is insufferable. Always running around town, trying to butter everyone up with gifts, hardly ever in their workshop. Why is it so hard for some people to understand that the only way to be a truly great builder is to only leave your house for 30 minutes a day for express purpose of picking up commissions? Well, preaching to the choir, I'm sure. But I didn't write you to gossip. I wrote to thank you, which I have done most efficiently. You're welcome. This guy sounds like a total pill. I, this is probably, a, I'm sure, a callback to playing my time at Porsche. Um... If you're ever in Portia, feel free to stop in for a meeting of the minds. I'm sure I'll never find a friend in the other builders here, so your visit will be most welcome. From one true builder to another, Higgins. All right, well, I'm glad that we brought Higgins joy. Let's see about finishing this uh, bridge. Uh-oh, why are my bunnies out of food? This is a problem. My magic mirror is not doing their job. I don't like it. It looks like everyone else. Well, no, they're getting low over here. Are we running? Oh, you know why? I know exactly why. I don't have any food in the helper box. That's the problem. Okay. Um. Well, what we've got to do then is we've got to go over here. Crops cooking. Here we go. This is it. We'll take that. We'll take that. Um, what are the other ones that they like? I feel like these are the big ones. Tomatoes, chestnuts. Oh, the yaks like potatoes. I need to plant some tomatoes because we're running low. I will go do that today, actually. Um, oh, and then the other thing we can do is see... He loves sandberries. That's what it is. Okay, I want to let this run out, and then I'm going to keep just enough of, like, each. So, so annoying when this gets messed up. Bum, 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 bum. So, helper box. There we go. Okay, that should... It should get right to it then. Beautiful. What did we need to build? We needed to build a bridge. Let's see. How is this going? This will be done soon. Quest. Build a bridge. Look at that. This shouldn't be too hard. Nice. And then let's take a look at some of these commissions. Uh, I'm going to grab this one because it's not hard to do. In that it's already done. Um, I'll grab that one because that's already done. We'll grab this one. That should be really easy. Um, why don't we remember that... Was it a bronze plate? Is that what she asked for? That's not here, huh? That's here. We'll cue one of those. And then we need one of these. There we go. Now let's take a look. This shouldn't take too long at all. This will be done tomorrow. Okay. 
the last thing I want to do with my day because it's been actually appreciated. When you have time, or maybe we could have a meal together. Ooh, yeah, we should go. We should go get some food. We kind of haven't been on a date and done anything with Heidi in a very long time. I wonder if she's noticing. It seems like if she's asking, I should probably do it. Wouldn't you agree? But we got to get these in the ground because we're starting to get a little low on potatoes. I mean, we have plenty. Here we go. I think we had like 15, right? How's your day? For me? It's just another endless day tweaking designs. Okay, that should get us more than enough of what we need. Beautiful. Um, Where'd she go? Was she still outside? A builder and an architect. Sandrock's very own power couple. Let's paint the town red. So long as that doesn't violate our building ordinances. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Um, yeah, oh look, we have so many of these like little playdate things to fill up today. What can we do that we haven't done? I think we've done it all. We can sit there, we've done that a bunch. We, I don't know that we ever play whack-a-mole. I don't really want to play whack-a-mole. That's not all that fun to me. We could do sand sledding. I guess we could do sand sledding and then go get some food at the blue moon. That sounds fun enough for me. Wouldn't you agree? Or not sand sledding, excuse me, sand painting. Oh, it's hard. It's hard when we're so busy. We're such busy people. We never have time to hang out together. Oh, such is married with children life. Isn't that true? <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's funny that it's like that in the game. I mean, I guess I could just make time, but I uh, I feel this need to like get this work done. I'm trying to, I'm trying to develop our uh, make money so that we can expand the house for the family. So I'm just constantly working. Um, is Lumpy gonna be in the way? Probably. Come draw this with me. Draw a smiley face. Yeah, let's do it. Oops, I hate it when I miss. Let me get out of her way. She'll take care of the outer one, apparently. Dang it. She's so fast. Not bad at all. There we go. We got a real talent for this. If Master Verna ever started taking students for sand drawing, you'd be a shoe in. Nice. Okay, took care of that. Beautiful. One of my ever favorite things to do is go stargazing. So we can go stargazing too. But let's go get some dinner before it gets much later. <laughs> Driving this thing is ridiculous. <laughs> She's bugged out. That's funny. We're going to turn this in really quick. Howdy. There you go. Um, we'll just run. We don't need to take the camel. The camel acts so goofy whenever we do. Oh, we've well got met. goods for you, too. Oh, well you. met. There we go. Would you like to eat? Sit and eat. Okay. Can't Ask complain. about work. I do wish I had access to a bit more of the funding department around here for some more ambitious projects. But, well, I made my choice to be here. 
Family's more important than fancy constructions. Do you remember when she was like stoked about like <laughs> finding uh, Logan through the roof to get more money for building projects? That was hilarious. Okay, ask about interests. What should I say? I'm in the barbershop a lot maintaining my hairstyle. But you know, just as soon as I feel like Pablo and I are in the middle of a good conversation, it's already time for me to leave. Maybe I should let my hair grow out a little bit more. You know, I love that we both care a lot about our hair, clearly. Honestly, I just love sandfish. I think it's genetic or something. My ma, she could make three meals from just one fish. That's why she likes to go sand fishing. Cute. Okay, um, dime. There's so much that looks so delicious. I guess ordering everything would be a waste. All right, I think I should leave this to someone sensible. You decide. Okay, we need stewed eagle sistanch. Stewed eagle, we're just straight up eating eagles now. What? There it is. Stewed rice with potato. There we go. I guess that's all we needed to do. Must include meat. Do we have a meat dish? Chopped pepper fish head. Mm. Tomato beef brisket. We haven't gotten any beef yet. We just have stewed eagle. That's a crazy thing to eat. Um, let's get a dessert. Oh, banana orange gelatin. Here we go. This is really great. All these dishes are so delicious. You managed to get everything I wanted. Well, I don't want to let it go to waste. So I'm going to eat this all. <laughs> Time to smear it on our faces. What to do next? Um, let's um, let's be done, and then let's head home. What a nice day! What a nice day! It's not something that we needed to do, but it's something that is fun to do, and it's something we haven't done in quite a long time. All right, whoops! Here we go. Right. Well, my friends, thank you so much for watching until the end. Hit the like button and subscribe. Leave a comment. We've got the forest planted. I hope that it helps fight off these sandstorms and does uh, does wonders for sand rock. I really, really do. And then um, I don't know what's left. I don't know what's left. I can't wait to find out. Hopefully we're not too, too close to the end because, man, the more we get into this game, the more we love it. I mean, according to the game, I have like... 10 levels worth of uh, effort left so who knows but anyways i appreciate you all so much i will bid you farewell and uh, i look forward to seeing you all next time